Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cooking uh, my family's traditional recipe of borscht and instead of using the toast top, I'm actually uh, cooking it in an Instapot. And I have a new way. I'm actually putting it for 10 minutes on sear. So um, you want to see it's actually just uh, sizzling up. You want to fry up a little bit of, uh, I use uh, beef, uh, for my uh, meat, for my borscht, you can really use anything. I have made borscht with chicken before, so if you're not a big fan of um, beef uh, or pork, um, you can uh, use chicken as well. And so you have beef, onions already in there with a little bit of olive oil, so they're actually going to fry it up a little bit. I will also be adding a little bit of um, uh, bell pepper, and then also some carrots. Um, here I have uh, one large uh, carrot that I have diced up for both. And I usually just drop everything inside and then let it cook. At this point, as it's searing everything, it will just sear very nicely. And then at this point, I will um, also be uh, salty and peppering and I'm using the pure sea salt um, fine grain for this. Just want to drizzle a little bit and then you want to actually stir it up. Um, I will also be adding the uh, black pepper that's grounded as well for this and you want to give it a good shake to make sure that you're adding enough. I kind of keep on stirring it to make sure that it's um, cooking it evenly here. And then at this point, I will be um, also um, adding my potatoes in, which I have diced here, three small potatoes. And I have put um, cold water over them. I'm actually not going to be draining the water because this is really water in here. So I'm just actually putting it inside just like this. And at this point, I will also be putting my meat. And so um, I have, um, they are already pre-cooked. So it's nicely diced. And so at this point, you just want to actually want it to um, pour over a um, some water in here and this mine takes about um, uh, two and a half cups of water and then you want to um, stir it up to make sure it's covered with water and then you will add the rest of the water and mine has the full um, um, on here and um, at that point you don't want to do it uh, over that line whatever instapot you're using to make sure when you're putting it under pressure and when you're opening it's not exploding with water so um, you don't want to do that so you want to put the rest of the water in and I'll be putting a little bit more and then I will also be adding my um, and that's already already been diced as well. So I did a lot of my prep work a day before and just um, saran wrapped it and put it in the fridge. It's just so much easier. Um, we have kids and uh, life outside of kitchen. And so um, sometimes I don't have a ton of time with dicing. So you will do a prep work before um, I actually will cook things. So then you wanna add the rest of the uh, water here. And at this point, um, I'm actually um, adding also uh, tomato paste. So we'll uh, give it a little bit more of that sour um, taste as well. And then I'm going to be salting it as well here. And a little bit more And I kind of eyeball it. As
actual board and I do put the wood